With the warmer weather here, many of us are getting pampered and polished for summertime, but how safe is your pedicure or manicure? Tonight, 8 News investigator Carrie O'Brien exposes hidden dangers at the nail salon. They buff, they trim, and they paint. And we hope to walk out pampered and perfectly polished. But what if your trip to the nail salon ended like this? It was like raw, like a carpet burn. This woman doesn't want to reveal who, but says someone close to her got a pedicure at a salon in Colonial Heights and ended up with a serious infection. The pedicure was done on Saturday, and by Sunday her foot was infected from using a pumice stone. She could not put a shoe on. It took two rounds of antibiotics and a month to heal. She does have a scar from this. You can actually get some nasty bacterial infections. A mix of warm water and, you know, somebody else's skin cells, not necessarily a good combination. Mary Vaughn is communications director at the State Department of Professional and Occupational Regulation, which oversees the nail salons and technicians throughout the state. She says all salons have strict state regulations they must follow. Both the individual technician and the facility itself need to hold a license issued by the state. But Vaughn admits the State Department doesn't have the resources to randomly inspect nail salons. We do rely on consumers to help us by reporting any concerns they might have. And she admits if a salon cuts corners, that manicure or pedicure could end painfully, from a fungus to an infection. And in some cases, that infection could result in losing a finger or toe. When you go into a salon, you know, you want to be able to ask questions. Tina Caton owns the Polished Nail Lounge in Short Pump. She goes above and beyond the state requirements for keeping her salon clean. We'll clean it right in front of the customer. Store. We have a sink right in the middle of the store. And for good reason. She's heard and seen the horror stories. Of the 600 nail salons around Virginia, the state gets about 30 complaints a year. When complaints come in, we um, have an investigator you know, look into it. 8 News found two complaints recently filed against salons in our area. One person claims they ended up in the hospital with pneumonia from a bacteria in their pedicure bath here at Fashion Nail in Richmond. There's no proof in this complaint that that the pneumonia was caused by the salon. But when a state inspector paid the salon a visit, they found unsanitary conditions. The salon was fined. In another complaint against Vu Nails in Chesterfield, a woman says during a pedicure, her heel was cut. She had to be treated by a doctor. State inspectors discovered the person performing the pedicure had been working without a license at the salon for two years. 8 News confronted the salon's owner. So why was she doing pedicures, though, if she didn't have a license? You know, look like we said, like, we, we training her and let her know how to do it and to do it. But that's illegal in Virginia. You can't train on customers. The salon owner tells us that person is no longer working there and that the salon is now complying with the law. Is that all corrected now? Yeah. We have license to, to work. If we don't have license, we can work. All of your folks who work in here are licensed themselves? Yes, yes, yes. So how can you make sure your salon is safe? First, look at that license. The regulations require that the licenses be posted in plain view. Then eyeball the salon. Does it look clean? Um, are there nail clippings on the ground? Before you pick your color, make sure you've glanced at the foot bath. I mean, does it look like there's been scum in it? Has it been wiped down as it's required to do? We have just a regular sink, and the reason we use the sink is because there's no jet, there's no recirculating water. At Caton's salon, she doesn't use those pedicure chairs with the built-in bathtubs and motorized jets. It takes a full 10 minutes for them to recirculate and clean out the old water. When a salon is busy, they don't have that 10 minutes in between clients, so they kind of clean the outside. It doesn't affect the outside, but what about the inside, the pipe? You may be wondering about those razors that a lot of salons use on the bottom of your feet during a pedicure. They attack the corns and the dead skin. These are legal here in Virginia, but a lot of health professionals will advise against using these. They say if you get cut, that can leave you open for an infection. And make sure the nail technician is cleaning those metal tools between clients. It's required. After each client, we wash the tool with soap and water, then we put it, we immerse them in a barbicide. It's a hospital grade. Something to watch out for is that emery board or buffer. 
if it has a scuff mark on it like this, that means it's been used already. It's illegal to use these on more than one client here in Virginia. At Caton's Polish Nail Lounge, each customer gets their own tray of tools. And you can take your emery board home with you. You might pay a little more here for a Manny and Petty. But you get what you pay for. Carrie O'Brien, 8 News. Thank you, Carrie. And you can check to see if your salon is licensed, if there have been any complaints filed against it by looking online with the Department of Professional and Occupation Regulation. Just log on to WRIC.com. We will link you to the page.